All right, the infamous car tire flip, where I usually will find a red back under. Nothing today? Come on. All right, we're gonna go back up the trail and flip some of the logs that I haven't yet. So, see you then. All right, so as I was making my way over here, I could see a ton of movement in this little vernal, which is awesome. And yesterday when I came over here, I spotted something pretty cool. I'm gonna show you that in a second. All right, the glare is a little whack, but there is an egg mass attached to that little stick coming out of the water. Now I'm not sure what species this is. Uh, I'm assuming it's like wood frog, or, but not too sure. Pretty cool. And there is the egg mass. Hopefully that's a better look. Can't really get any closer without getting my feet wet, but cool. Get my jacket off. It's like 50 degrees right now, so I don't know why I'm wearing a jacket, but whoa! It didn't look like this yesterday because the lighting was so bad when I spotted it. Can't focus on it, though. But that is a ton of what I presume are wood frog eggs. It's the only cluster in this pool. But awesome. I'm going to get a closer look for you guys, but it might be a little difficult. Really awesome. Glad I spotted this yesterday. Really cool. So cool. Alright, I'm going to leave this mass of eggs alone. And see what else is out today. I don't think much is out. I saw a little bit of movement in here. But I doubt I'm going to catch a glimpse of anything. But cool. Nice cluster of wood frog eggs, I presume. Alright, so this is that vernal pool where the eggs are. And I just spotted a wood frog. But he went back under the water. Dang it. Definitely a wood frog, though. But there are definitely wood frogs in here under the leaf litter down there. Darn it. So the other day I took a walk to this little patch of woods over there. There's a few vernals. Um, and then there's one right here. And I spotted an egg mass. And then I spotted this wood frog egg mass, which is pretty sweet. Each of those little black specks are individual wood frog embryos, and they're protected by this jelly like substance. Um, wood frogs happen to be the furthest north living frog species or reptile or amphibian species for that matter. They live as far north as Alaska. During the cold winter months, their body shuts down pretty much entirely um, and they produce an antifreeze in order to not, in order to not cause damage to their vital organs. Um, and then when spring rolls around, they come back to life and they start breeding. And as you can see here, you can tell the breeding activity has already started. Um, it's March 7th today. I saw this like two days ago. But yeah, pretty awesome. Give you one more look. Really cool. And they rely on these fishless ponds or vernal pools uh, in order to not be predated by, in particular, fish. So, really interesting find. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this egg mass alone, but really cool. So another thing is in late winter and early spring, you'll start hearing them calling, and I'll put that in right now. All right, I could hear a wood frog. You hear that? Ignore the goose, but there is a wood frog 
over in that vernal over there. Awesome. I heard them calling just over there. <clears throat> I saw a couple in this pool, but um, it's pretty much it. The further we go into spring, the more activity there will be, and so hopefully we could. See. So hopefully we can get footage of their breeding activity, especially to see them in the Amplexus would be pretty cool. So yeah, I'm gonna leave these eggs alone. And really interesting, or quite frankly, remarkable frog species too. Let's see if shining is worth it tonight. Spring peepers are crossing. That was a gravid female with eggs. Dang it. Spring peepers are out. It's about 41 degrees. I can hear a ton of spring peepers, so they're out. I saw a DOR the other day and just passed one. Um, but yeah, peepers are calling. Uh, it's March 13th, it's about 41 degrees. And we're gonna see if we can get any live ones on video because it's been a while since we've seen peepers and it's about that time of the year when they're gonna start breeding. So yeah, I'll let you know when I see any. And spring peeper, really cool. First spring peeper of the year, Sudacris crucifer. Really nice to see one, just past the DOR. Um, and yeah, spring is officially here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy out of the road. The curb is right here, <clears throat> but he seemed to be going in the opposite direction across the street. So I'm gonna assist him in that. Always when you're gonna move something across the road, always put them in the direction that they were already going in. So yeah, nice spring peeper. Cool. And this is in fact a species of tree frog here in New Jersey. We have a few, but what's really interesting about these guys is they are one of the first frog species along with wood frogs to emerge in late winter, early spring and start their breeding. So, awesome. Spring's finally here. Really nice to see a spring peeper crossing, not a DOR. Um, so I'm getting to the end of this stretch and I'm gonna make another pass and I'll let you know if I see any more, but cool. First spring peeper of 2023. It's going off with a good start. So I know I've said this before, but spring peepers and wood frogs are one of the first few frogs to start breeding in the spring. And so their calls are an indicator that either spring is on its way or it's already here. And I think they might be able to produce an antifreeze just like wood frogs. So really cool little tree frog species we have here. I usually get them in great tree frogs on this road along with uh, some randed species like pickerel frogs and um, and bullfrogs and green frogs but yeah I'll let you know if I see any more all right so it doesn't look like we're gonna be seeing any more spring peepers tonight um, it is a pretty cold night being 41 degrees uh, but pretty all pretty good Feels nice to see one either way. Um, but I'm gonna go up the street just a tiny bit more in the other direction. And if I see any more, I'll let you know. Oh, there's one. Awesome. There's a pretty one too. Nice. All right, I'm gonna get this guy out of the road. All 
All right, just photograph this guy a little bit. I'm gonna bring him across the road. Nice. Yeah, so they're called Sudacris Crucifer because they have this like, sorry for the glare, but they have this crucifix like pattern on their back. It's just pretty. All right, see you later, buddy. Have a good spring breeding. <laughs> awesome. So it is the next day and it's snowing. How about that? It's snowing pretty hard too. Look at this turkey vulture in the snow, hanging out on top of a pile of sticks. Cool. This guy just flew over to this tree, but I noticed there's another one right there. Pretty cool. see these guys a lot of the time on the road after they've been hit because a lot of the time because a lot of the time they'll try to scavenge food that has been hit by a car and then they will in turn get hit by a car so love these guys so I never really usually come to this hillside to look for salamanders that often my last video, I came over here and found a two-line in the morning. But today, I looked under a piece of bark just over there and saw a baby redback. And this time, under this piece of bark, was a four-toed salamander. And that's in C2. He hasn't moved at all. But what a surprise. I mean, I thought the redback was a surprise, but this is even cooler. The redback got away, so... Nice. Look at that four-toed salamander. I'm going to take some photos while he's still in C2 and then get this guy out. Yeah, so like I said, I never usually come over here to look for salamanders. And it was a nice surprise to see that redback, but this is way cooler. Nice four-toed salamander. I'm going to go ahead and get this guy out now. Cool. Put this little piece of bark back. I knew I should look under some pieces of bark today. It's about 50, I think two right now, but it's gonna get to 55, but awesome. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy back under that log, but really awesome. Second salamander of the day, but four, first four-toed salamander for this spot. So initially I came over to this hill and the seat to see if we can find any frogs under cover, because a lot of times reptiles and amphibians will overwinter near the seeps because the seep water uh, is much warmer than the air temperature and uh, any other water sources. So I'm pretty sure they stay like a constant 45 degrees or like 50 degrees, so. Moment of truth, let's see. Oh, there's a two line, look at that guy. I'm just gonna carefully lower this down. I think he just made his way in the water. I keep losing this guy because of how well camouflaged they are, but really crazy looking. How they have ever seen this species. Cool. Look at these wood frog eggs today. I hear one calling behind me and I just saw some movement in here. So, maybe we'll see one today. <laughs> 